our Indian scientists have come out with the idea that we should have our own mission. The Chandrayaan is a result of that. By end of this decade, we will be totally self-reliant in launching all our satellites. Me, Abhijit Krishna. Today on V Journal, we have someone who is very special. As you all know, today is Puja days. We all are back dressed, having fun time. But we are looking to looking forward to interact with someone very special, a man who was the backbone of Indian Space Research Organization for many years. Now enjoying his post-retirement life, we can have some time interacting with him and how he is looking looking upon Indian Space Research Organization and the future of India in space technology. It is none other than the man of exceptional skills. Dr. G. Madhavan Nair, sir. Welcome, sir. Well, basically, I have spent most of my life uh, in the space program. Uh, and I have heard a lot of knowledge and experience during uh, this period. Now, post retirement, uh, my main focus is on how to impart this knowledge to the new generation interacting with the students or giving some lectures to colleges and sometimes uh, attending more patients and other functions. Of course, recently uh, there is a lot of people who want me uh, to, for the temple functions as well. So that way I think the days get busy and uh, I'm fully active and uh, after the last minute I'd like to be like that and serve the society to the best of my ability. Uh, certainly, we will see the Indian Space Research Organization is known for its uh, societal applications. The founding father, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, he has set a goal that uh, we must master the space technology and use it for the benefit of the common We have worked for that and uh, perhaps. Uh, we are the only country giving the services to the people, even the remotest village, on various areas like agriculture, the weather forecast, and then uh, fisheries, uh, how they can be directed to the fish school, uh, and exploring the minerals, uh, preserving the forest uh, sources, and so on. So, uh, above all, you must have seen that uh, how the DTH system. Uh, has revolutionized the TV viewing. Nearly hundreds of channels are available with a small dish sitting on top of the roof and so on. So every action which space has been doing is oriented towards the compliance and Now, yes, we will continue. Uh, I think the ISO has got planned to continue with such operations. They are planning uh, much bigger satellites uh, which will be in space and uh, they will be able to provide the much needed digital connectivity to the remote villages and the mountains regions. Uh, again, the Earth observation system will have much finer uh, resolution. Even today, our uh, the cameras from the satellite are able to take images with better than one meter resolution. This is serving uh, various uh, planning, even surveying and identifying the damages which is happening to the environment and uh, so on. And above all, the, the security needs, looking uh, at the borders and uh, if there is an uh, unwanted movement of things will be detected, immediately we can improve it. Uh, so that way, the space is uh, committed for doing it. But next step is, uh, yes, we uh, long uh, standing dream that we want to take a man to space and bring him back safely. This is a Gaganyan project which is launched by the Prime Minister in the last uh, uh, Independence Day speech and he has set uh, an ambitious target that uh, 75th anniversary of uh, independence in 2022 
we must be launching the man into the space. So this is a very ambitious and challenging task to ISO. Uh, right now, ISO is uh, working towards achieving this. Yeah, it looks well, I think uh, unlike the several other projects like uh, roads or buildings or bridges, uh, we have practically uh, right from beginning we do not have any corruption or drainage of sources. Every rupee spent on the space program will go for the space program only. Secondly, I think the uh, ISRO's technologies uh, all under one group. Nearly 15,000 strong people uh, with various disciplines are working under one leadership. So they can uh, give it guidance and then the entire team work towards a specific goal. Uh, again, uh, you know, we try to do the optimization in various tests and evaluation. So, with minimum number of tests, we are able to make the rockets or satellites before they are launched. So, all this put together, uh, the cost of the space program, according to even the U.S. Uh, uh, agencies, it is on a shoestring budget. With a bare minimum budget, we are able to. Of course, above all, there is a factor of. Uh, uh, rupee to dollar conversion. Uh, if we convert uh, uh, the salaries which are paid to the Indian technicians and engineers, it is hardly one fifth of what uh, the US or other developers will pay. So, all this uh, places in a very advantageous position. But the most important part is ISRO is known for a focused activity without wasting even a single time. Well, I think uh, today the demand for space based service is multiplying many fold. Uh, in fact, ISRO is driven to full saturation, I would say. You know, when I left uh, ISRO in 2009, uh, sorry, 2009, we were doing about uh, six missions in a year. Compared to that today, something like 36 missions are being done with the same manpower and same infrastructure facilities. It's almost a breaking point. So we want the industrial houses to come forward and take a share of it. The volume of business is going to increase. And there are proven technologies available even this so The private entrepreneurs should come forward and absorb this. Uh, for enabling this, uh, ISRO has uh, put in a new company, NSIL, National Space, uh, sorry, Nash, NISL, so that is National uh, Indian Space uh, Limited. So this uh, company will provide the various technical know-how and assistance to industries for take on the jobs of building uh, the rocket subsystems or even satellites. Well, perhaps, uh, you know, the time, uh, there will be competition really from China. Uh, uh, well, China and India will be competing for the top most position at the time frame because uh, Europeans or Americans have uh, their programs have become expensive and uh, they all will look forward to these two countries for getting the space-based uh, infrastructure. ISRO is known for its culture of learning from failures. If there is one failure comes, that gives much more lessons than a good success. So that's one point. The second, I think uh, the technology, always there will be solutions. 
when you do complex uh, technologies there is a probability that something or other can go wrong when you launch a rocket or when you send this probe to the moon or mars uh, there are thousands of uh, components and systems as to work in harmony if there is any small error somewhere either in the hardware or software uh, it can get into problem the reason chandrayaan mission itself we almost reached the point you know traveling uh, for lakhs kilometers and finally arriving at about two kilometer above the moon surface precisely and then onwards it is supposed to the land like uh, placing a baby on a cradle but unfortunately that sequence was very very complicated there are uh, cameras laser altimeters gyros uh, computer software all has to work maybe one of the element has uh, failed and the last part of the mission was not successful and uh, isro is a transparent organization immediately uh, this was conducted in the uh, presence of uh, uh, prime minister modi ji himself and uh, hundreds of students from all over the country uh, isro was uh, admitting that there is a slip between the company uh, but there is a team working on it trying to decipher what went wrong and how it can be corrected for future missions these inputs sir definitely will be very useful for the man mission which you are planning now so learning from mistakes taking that as a challenge and then finding solutions in the shortest possible time has been a slow culture and we never get the uh, ball uh, but one thing uh, happening to note is the space program normally uh, 10% failures do happen all over the world but uh, touch wood india the failure rate is less than 5% that shows our technology is uh, superior to what is available to even in the countries okay okay that is for now it was really a wonderful section a section of knowledge information perseverance perseverance and skills like sara has mentioned failures are the stepping stones towards success പരാജയങ്ങൾ വിജയത്തിനേക്കുള്ള ചവിട്ടുപടിയാണ് അത് ഐ എസ് ആർ ഒയിൽ മാത്രം ബാധകമല്ല ആണെന്ന് ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നില്ല കാരണം ഞാൻ അടങ്ങുന്ന നിങ്ങൾ അടങ്ങുന്ന ഏതൊരു പുതു തലമുറയ്ക്കും സ്വന്തം ജീവിതത്തിൽ കൂടെ പ്രാവർത്തികമാക്കാൻ പറ്റിയ വലിയൊരു തത്വമാണ് സാർ നമുക്കിവിടെ പറഞ്ഞു തന്നത് ഒരിക്കലും പരാജയങ്ങളിൽ നമ്മൾ വിഷമിക്കേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല മുന്നോട്ട് പോകാനുള്ള ശക്തി ജഗദീശ്വരൻ നമ്മുടെ കഠിന പ്രയത്നത്തിലൂടെ നമുക്ക് നൽകുന്നതാണ് ഇത്രയും നേരം അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ തിരക്ക് പിടിച്ച സമയത്തിനുള്ളിൽ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി അലോട്ട് ചെയ്ത് തന്നതിന് ബി ജോണലിൻ്റെ പേരിലും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഡോക്ടർ പൾപ്പ് കോളേജ് ഓഫ് ആർട്സ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസിൻ്റെ പേരിലും അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് പ്ര